In this video, I'm going to explain to you the functional framework data view. This data view is based on GB 1033-1 functional framework version 21.5. I'll leave the link to this Excel file in the description of the video. The functional framework is a function map supporting the business process and producing slash consuming information from the information framework of a service provider. The starting point is TAM, but the dependence from applications is completely replaced by ODA functional architecture. The functional framework data view includes descriptions and hierarchical grouping of functions based on the horizontal domains of core frameworks. This data view only has one data source, the functional framework. The functions are organized by domain, function subdomains, which are level one, and function subdomains level two. Clicking on the icon on the bottom right of a level one function allows us to display the related level two functions and clicking on the icon on the bottom of the level two functions allows us to display their related functions. Clicking on a function will open the properties panel. Here we can see the name, description, function ID, the associated vertical domains, and we have the ability to tag stakeholders, products and services, and colors. Once items have been tagged with stakeholders, products and services, or with color, we can go to the filter and make use of several details in here to filter. Another useful view is the data source sunburst. This provides a sunburst view of the data source. We can also make use of the data view explorer. To explore the data view, use the key on the left hand side to help you explore the data view. By clicking on the data source, we will be able to see that there are two options. We can expand the element links or we can pin the element. I'm going to click the expand element links and we can see all of the groups that are associated with the data source. Furthermore, I can click on one of the groups and I can expand this too to see all of the elements in that group. Any elements that have categories or stakeholders or products and services assigned will appear just like you see in the key. Functions can be assigned to shapes in a process flow or PPMN diagram. Currently, I am in a process flow module. If we click on one of the elements here, we can see under the assigned data elements tab in the properties panel that the customer data fencing function has been assigned to this element. If we click on it, it will open the properties of the assigned element. This can be done, as I said, for the process flow or in the BPMN diagram. Thank you for watching.